Hello, friends, and what a joy it is to be able to come back into your presence to share with you a ray of hope by way of coffee and conversation coming to you from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. A great way to get this good day started, a fresh cup of hot coffee. Well, today, my friend, I want to bring to you a devotion that I've uh, titled Living a Truthful Lie. In Psalm 15, verses 2 through 5, we read these words. He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart, he that backbiteth not with his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor, in whose eyes a vile person is uh, contemned, but he honoreth them that fear the Lord. He that sweareth to his own hurt and changes not. He that puts not out his money to usury, nor taketh reward against the innocents. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. You know, my friend, with the scripture read uh, and uh, thinking about what the Bible says there in Psalm 15, it brings this thought to mind. In the spiritual or religious world, the truth remains the same because the human heart and soul remains the same. My friend, mankind fell from grace and with his fall, man fell from a constant physical walk with God. Man fell because his heart was infected with uh, what I call a sin virus. And that sin virus is very alive today. This sin virus has caused people to murder. It's caused wars between countries and it's caused devastation and destruction at every hand in history. Uh, my friend, this sin virus is a terrible thing. The truth about the sin virus will never change. So the question comes to mind, what in the world can change the heart of a man? Well, now listen to me, my friend. The heart of every man and woman can change by accepting the Lord Jesus Christ and the love that Christ brought to the world. When we accept the truth of Christ in our heart, then our heart is changed. And with a changed heart, my friend, we can live out the truth in our lives and receive the blessings of living a truthful and a righteous life. But you see, living that truthful and righteous life comes when we accept the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no cure for the sin virus, but there is healing of the sin virus when we accept the Lord Jesus Christ. What a glorious, glorious, glorious cure. Jesus healing the sin virus. Pray with me. Father, how grateful we are that you help us to overcome sin. Depending upon our own resources and self, we can never win. But God, when we yield our heart and lives to you and accept you as Savior, victory is ours. And we give you thanks and praise for that. Bless that one this morning who seems to be infected the most with the sin virus. To get to know you personally, in Jesus' name, amen. Well, my friend, go out into your world today. Share the Lord Jesus, the great healer of the sin virus, with someone. Hey, remember to smile as you go out. Your life may be the only Bible that some will ever read. So let others see the Lord Jesus in you. Have a great day in the Lord.